we are entering on a posterior workshop. Here we produce and develop the YouTube videos and courses as well. In a general view, we are going to show some things we have in here. Let's start with these two stands. At the top, we find plastics, newspaper for painting, wood, thick cardboard for cars, and cardstock. These cardstocks are the ones used to make the molds. We have organizers with nails, screws, nuts, washers, among others. Others contain various items such as springs, car panel clips, different sizes, etc. In the lower part, we keep wood, extensions and metal tubes in boxes. Beside, it is the air compressor. On the next shell unit, there are fabric used for painting, cleaning products such as white gasoline, alcohol, acetone and benzene. There is a set of three cans for polyurethane glue that include the cleaner, adhesion promoter and glue itself the brushable yellow glue and thinner to clean brushes, paint sprayers, ways to hold materials, silicone glues, metal boxes, and cleaning racks. This leather skyping machine was restored and some missing parts were fitted. This machine is over 100 years old. There is a locker in this area, and in the upper part there are phones for a poster use. In the locker, we have thin antique thread of different colors, wood and nylon thread too. tools like punches, scissors, circular cutter, and skin gashes. At the bottom, we find thick threads of two sizes, wax thread and tools to disassemble steering wheels. In this section of the workshop, there are sewing machines. This is a Yamato overlock carpet machine. It works with three threads, one of wool and two thin polyester threads. This is a Durkop Abler 268 post bed, 6 inch post tall, twin needle machine. And it is used to do double stitches.
This Other 767 Durkop Adler Soul Machine is a single needle. It sews thick and thin materials. Finally, this other German 1245 puff sewing machine that is mostly used in the shop. It is a single needle and can also sew with thick threads, but its stitches are not as long as the previous one. We continue with this area where we have different tools. At the bottom of this shelf, we have boxes with leftover leather. There are also pencils for making materials, erasers, rulers, tailor's tapes, indispensable in upholstery. We have a section with leather paints in different colors, sealer and annealy powder, briefcases and an old singer sewing machine for a future project. In the upper part, we keep training samples that we have been taught in the channel. On this shelf, there are forms and tools such as moto tool, electro drill, cut off tool, the painting equipment to spray sealer, paint and upholstery glue, an airbrush for fine work too. We also have different kinds of adhesive tapes. At the bottom, we have several steering wheels for upcoming projects. On the next shelf, we keep electrical extensions and a section for carpentry tools. We have different types of 
Screwdrivers, Flat and Phillips. And this is an electrical screwdriver given to us by our friend and customer from Japan, Aki. Continuing upwards, there is a section with pliers, hammers and punchers, heat gun, hair dryer and assorted irons, more tools, rubbers and felt. The square and straight rulers are hanging on the sides. On this last shelf, we have some forms for projects, mechanical key cases manual and pneumatic staplers, staples, allen keys, different size pressure pliers, metal cutting shears. We have hot ring pliers and these hot ring pliers we made in a video. We also have chisels of various sizes to make cuts. This another be notching pliers. It was shown in a video. and some Ruben hammers of various sizes. At the bottom, there are heavy duty plastic clamps to hold pieces, some paper, a torpedo level, spatulas, knives and nails, and a section of useful things for carpentry. At the top of this cabinet, we have some cleaning equipment and leather restoration products made out by my leather restoration teacher, Paul Ford from New Zealand. In this other section, we find the bottle wrapping hand pressing in the back, at front, a mask and goggles for protection. There are also bottoms, hardware and elastic for furniture. We have the press to emboss leather, how to emboss leather was thought in a video. Finally, at the bottom, there are velcros of different sizes. This is our auxiliary work table. At the bottom, some vinyls, carpets, fabrics and synthetic material are stored. On this other side, we have short skins and thin fabrics. This steering wheel is a project we are doing. It is fastened to a steering wheel holder that eases the work. And this leather round cushion is one of the projects that was taught in our basic course. 
I need a snow on this stool. Our main table is made of plywood and it was covered with formica. It has iron supports. We also have a lamp that was designed to have clarity in the videos we record. On the other side of the table, we have full leathers and alcantara materials for cars or furniture. Finally, we have a broom and dustpan for cleaning. Something very important that should not be missing in a workshop is a first aid kit and the fire extinguishers. Since we work with flammable materials, it is important to recharge it every year. Now we are going to the second floor where we will show you our office. Here we save some finished projects that were made for YouTube. Some fans will remember the oldest ones. We also edit our videos here. On this side, we have a small coffee bar with snacks. On the other side is the recording and editing equipment for video production. Two rear Jaguar car door panels were adapted as an end table. And the rear car seat was adapted as a sofa. We have some top quality leather swatches from different suppliers on this table. In this cabinet, we keep several leather steel wheels. We also have here the two steering wheels made for free courses. This car seat is one of our main basic courses that is available on our website. This office desk and chair were wrapped in leather a few years ago and still look great. In this bench, we keep more sample books of premium leather.
to end this tour, we want to thank you for helping us make this award possible, for the positive comments, donation, and for supporting us with the courses that have made this channel grow. Thanks to our entire community for having followed us all these years. We are happy to know these videos have been an inspiration to start out your own projects. We will continue with more enthusiasm, sharing tips and approaching projects to inspire our followers worldwide.